So, do we agree? Agreed. Let's return to our places now. You're right. Hmm. What were they talking about? Louis, a moment of your time, please. Yes, monsieur. What can I do for you? I would like you to hear me out without interrupting. It's in your interest. You are in a perilous situation, and I want to avoid you becoming a laughingstock. What exactly are you talking about? The reason why we are all here. You might think you can win, but... Indeed. It looks that way, doesn't it? Well, think again. You don't know everything. In actual fact, all of Sir Gregory's team is working for Mortimer. If you vote for Holm, Mortimer will never forgive you. And I can assure you that he is taken down far tougher than you. Are you threatening me? Not me, Louis. But you are the only one who hasn't turned against Sir Gregory. Join us. Vote with us if you do not want to feel the wrath of Mortimer alone. Is that all? That's all, yes. I just wanted to warn you. Now you are free to vote where your conscience leads you. Good luck. So, he's the one who's been persuading them all to turn back. Just gotta hope that Holmes managed to pull off his conjuring trick. Otherwise, Bonaparte's right. I'll be the only one voting against Mortimer, and therefore, the only one to face the consequences. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us, when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You... You are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for... for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Duchess Hillsborough. For. Duke Manuel. For. Your eminence. For. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? Four. Mr. Von Volner? Four. What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. Finally, Monsieur de Richet. What is your vote? My turn. I vote four. And while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The votes are now cast. The project is therefore approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy, soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What? Have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. <laughs> We can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? I vote against. Duchess Hillsborough? Against. Duke Manuel? Against. Your Eminence? Against. Monsieur Napoleon? For. Mr. Von Volner? Against. 
President Washington. Four. The votes are now cast. So you were not won over by my project. Hmm. That hurts. I... I warned you! You did... You didn't want to... Listen to me! Never mind. It will still come to pass. Traitor! What have you done? You are... You are obliged to respect your... Your word. That is the... The... The rule! The time of conferences is over, dear brother. Let us abandon all this charade. You don't... Have... The... Right! What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future... Oh, that is, if you have one. Don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. Oh. You... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for... for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I... cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help! Help me! After several Help! centuries of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body, you cannot project yourself elsewhere, you cannot even contact father. Go ahead, try. But you are my brother, so I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. <laughs> you sw swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, I am stronger than, than you!